Hello everybody, this is Freeman Sullivan, and we're at uh, Power Green Extortion Headquarters, uh, more popularly known as Pacific Gas and Electric. I'm glad you could join us. We're going to be here for just a few minutes today for a couple of speakers, and we're talking about uh, how these power shutoffs affect people with disabilities, uh, so people like yourself, uh, myself, who needs to charge up his chair really frequently, and we were wondering if I would be able to get a charge. Uh, fortunately, our area of Oakland was not affected during these recent power outages. Well, I'm, I was telling Jessica, we need more... Uh, uh, she said we need more people. Yeah, that's true too, but... You Hey, James. It's a pretty mellow protest. I would imagine there's maybe a hundred people here. And then around the corner from Occupy, I remember everybody was hanging out at Occupy all those, all those months on that cold cement rotten little place it was. But, uh, glad you're joining us. And we've got Extinction Rebellion here. And Dave, Mr. Signage, who painted all these wonderful signs. But we're going to have a couple of speakers here. I've decided to share this, uh, share it with the hashtag power to live. No more! 
Some more chanting, I guess, and some speakers. I'm not sure exactly what all is going on here, but you could ask. They did block the street off for us, thinking that we would get more people to show up. And I was hoping that we would have some more folks too, because you know I, I feel I feel that uh, we can always use more people at demonstrations. Always, always. PG and &E the they're down for the count, baby. Right, we got them in the corner. There's a left and a right, and the wildfires and PG and E's poor planning and their lack of investment in infrastructure are the reasons why we're here today.
Match some of the other ones I have. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, yeah, now I'm looking at it. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Thanks. I could have used them in Berkeley. <laughs> We got well covered by the media here, which is usually unusual. We even have Channel 2, and so that's good. Getting covered by the media, yeah. I guess they think pg and &E is a, enough stock that there's enough money involved that MSM is here. Wandering around a little bit. I thought maybe the speakers would have started a little bit earlier. But. That's cool. I like seeing That was pretty bad. Pretty badass little sticker. Hmm. $2.5 billion a year for causing outages and fires. And I was looking around for my doctor. I don't see her. Ooh. Oh, there you are. Like to say a few words for our live stream? Oh, shit, so bad at this. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Just tell me a little bit uh, your name and uh, why you're here. Um, I'm here. I, I've been here all morning shutting down PG&E with um, other activists uh, because PG&E has been focused on their profits and putting that ahead of people's safety, especially with disabilities is vulnerable, so we're here to shut them in down and say that they need to change what they're doing and stop you know, operating business as usual and um, Governor Newsom needs to um, enable us to have a public power company. Hey, your name is? Olivia. All right, Olivia, thanks a lot. Yeah. 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 All right. It's good. Yes, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's okay, we all do. You don't think my patter came from from a couple of days of practicing many, many, many years, right? And some days are better than others. So you get fine. So, yeah, we got lots of activists from Freedom Socialist Party and all kinds of stuff. But I did think we were going to have some speakers. So there you go. Now you have the reason why we're here. Oh, Corporations have to go. 
corporations have to go. Corporations have to go. When do we want it? Now. now. What do we want? Disability, Disability justice. justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Disability justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Utility justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Utility justice. When do we want it? Now. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming out today. for their criminal negligence, for the way they endanger our lives, the lives of people of color, of disabled people, of poor people, and the lives of every creature threatened by the foul fires that pg &E is responsible for. Our demand, number one, give back all shareholder profits until pg &E can safely provide power. Stop profiting over people's lives. Say with me, number one, give back shareholder profits. What is that? Give back shareholder profits. One more time. Give back shareholder profits. Number two, invest in frontline communities, basic power needs. Stop putting people at risk. One more time, say it with me. Stop putting people at risk. Stop putting people at risk. Invest in frontline communities. Invest in frontline communities. Number three, Governor Newsom and CPUC must turn over pg and &E to the people. Utility justice is climate justice. Utility justice is what? Climate justice. Utility justice is what? Climate justice. Governor Newsom. Give back the power to the people. Governor give the power to the people. One more time. Governor give the power to the people. Power to who? Power to the people. Power to who? Power to the people. So today is a bit historic. Can anybody guess why? You ain't my boss. Disability justice. That's right. So, uh, I don't know if folks are aware, but during the power shutoffs, uh, disabled people, elders, many people were trapped without power. Uh, up in the North Bay, there was report of a senior home where people were abandoned without power uh, and just totally neglected. I myself use a ventilator about uh, 16 hours a day, and I'm dependent on power to live. Uh, so we've been working with our climate justice comrades, uh, fire survivors to really talk about what is the utility justice campaign for everyone is going to look like. So we made a special effort to make uh, the rally accessible. We do have a fragrance-free section, and we're asking people um, to be mindful about fragrances and smokes. Yeah, y'all can get off my land too, as an Indian. Uh, because we do have people impacted uh, having seizures and all of that. So in terms of the accessibility. That's uh, the only have a, fucking Indian leader you have here. Oh, you should oh, show oh, a little oh. respect. But we're getting there. Got it. Yeah. Um, so we have a low stimulation space. Uh, it's over to the left, marking the spray paint pink. Uh, we have accessibility team. Can our access team folks wave or raise their hands? Okay, everyone's by the table. So if you have any support needs, uh, please let us know. Uh, we do have 
earplugs, respirator masks, energy bars, oranges, cough drops, sunscreen and water, and also medic available. And I want to acknowledge that part of this work uh, means kind of working through clashes around how to make the space possible for everyone. Um, and that's just something that we're going to have to figure out how to do together. Uh -huh. Yeah, we can do it. So if you need to use the bathroom, we have some maps. See the resource table. And then in case of an emergency, please gather your things and look around uh, to see if others around you need support. We want to acknowledge organizers involved with today. Let's give it up for Diablo Rising Tide. No pg bailout. Woo! Mask Oakland. Yeah! Sunrise Movement. Woo! East Bay and San Francisco Democratic Socialists of America. Yeah! Disability Justice Culture Club. Woo! Fat Rose. Yeah! Health Justice Commons. Extinction Rebellion, Youth versus Apocalypse, yeah. and so many more. Right. There's tons of people involved that aren't involved with any affinity group, but threw down uh, because they care about the issue. Before we begin our protest, we want to recognize that we are on the land of Ohlone people. Ooh, pause. Oh, thank you, thank you. And we're the interpreters. Okay, so we're waiting over here if you need Spanish interpretation. Yes, Si necesitas interpretación en español, puedes venir a esta área para reunirnos todos juntos. Gracias. And we have established a fragrance-free area, so we're going to ask that anybody that's wearing anything fragranced or that is not intentionally removing fragrance from their lifestyle, because it kind of requires that, to please step away from the area where I am right now, where you see the sign. And if you do need a low fragrance or fragrance-free area, please come closer and we can find chairs for you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We're going to open it up, um, open up the rest of the rally with some land acknowledgement. We have an indigenous elder who's uh, ready to do that. Good day, my relatives. Uh, my name is Juan Parker Brightman. I'm executive director of the United Native Americans. I'm also here in support of all the different organizations and people and that have all banded together to fight this diabolical group, which is known as PG&E. I ask for everybody to have a moment of silence for all the victims of PG&E at this time. I ask that we all come in unison to pray together for healing for our community and for all our people right now who have suffered because of PG&E. Um, Created to I ask for your special prayers for all, each and every one of us from the doorway in to the doorway out. I ask that you bless each and every one of us. I ask that you watch over us and protect us. I ask for special prayers of healing for each and every one of us who have been affected by pg &E. I ask for prayers for our wingeds, for our four-leggeds, for our fish, for our life that is sacred on our Mother Earth and our Father's sky. I ask, Okashua, that you that you open their ears inside for these shareholders, Dokash. I ask for prayers that you open their ears, and open their hearts to our message out here. I ask that you bless each and every one of us with good health and good spirits. I ask that you watch out for our elders, watch out for our youth. Please, Dokash, help us to hear these prayers. Thank you very much. We're going to jump right back into the program, don't you? Thank you so much. So we have our first speaker, Bonnie Rose, who has a utility justice campaign. Yeah, there you go. 
she needs to move that. Yeah. How many folks are ready for the Justice campaign? <laughs> okay, we're excited to tell everyone about it. Uh, this is Mary Rose. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, it's wonderful to be here with you all. <laughs> I'm Mary Rose Tarook, and we launched the California Utility Justice Campaign so that we can be organized to take on the collapse of PG&E. Are you ready? The Utility Justice Campaign is a project and initiative of the Local Clean Energy Alliance who's been fighting for local renewable energy here in the Bay Area and throughout the country for, for a decade. And we want to make sure that the leadership of the Utility Justice Campaign is from frontline communities, black, indigenous, communities of color, disability justice folks, the folks who have the first-hand experience with these fires and shutoffs, and the ones who have the solutions about how to take care of us. Yeah. Should that be the leadership of this movement? Yeah. And so pg and &E is collapsing in the climate chaos. We know that the fossil fuel industry that's been 100 years old is collapsing. A lot of their oil operations, their transmission lines, their dirty power plants, are collapsing. We want that because we don't want it. We don't want that fossil fuel industry anymore, but we also know that we have to make sure our communities are intact through this transition. And what that's going to need is us to be organized. We need a vision to replace this dying industry that's killing us and the planet. And so we need to be organized. So the California Utility Justice Campaign, I want to tell you about the three goals of what we're trying to do. Are you cold? Okay. We want to build the energy of ourselves and our movement to take on utility justice. Will you do some Tai Chi with me? Okay. So um, even folks who are holding signs, if you want to put them down, we're going to do a, a three-move Tai Chi that's going to help embody the goals of the Utility Justice Campaign. All right. So first... Okay, I'm going to just yell. <laughs> um, first is we're going to block the bailout. So first, in your, in your stance, so you can stand or you can sit. And what's important is that we're breathing strongly, that your exhale is strong, and that your stance is forward. We don't want to be backwards when we take on pg &E. We want to be forward. This is our fighting stance. So whether you're standing or sitting, you want to have a forward stance. You want your breath to be low and in your belly. So take a few breaths from your belly. All right, the first move is to block the bailout. So left foot forward. We're going to gather energy and we're going to block the bailouts. Say it with me. Block the bailouts. Block the bailouts. Block the bailouts! Block the bailouts! And we're blocking the bailouts because PG&E is a criminal. They're supposed to be liable for billions of dollars in damage, and they're charging us, the customers, to pay for their shit. We need to block those bailouts. We've done research, and it's They've already gotten more than 20 billion in bailouts. And the, the no bailout campaign of PG&E has actually been trying to stop that at the Public Utilities Commission meetings. So let's give a hand to those who have been trying to block that for the last year. 
we need to be ready to block the bailouts. All right? Okay, so that's the first goal of our utility justice campaign. The second goal is to democratize energy. Yeah. Right now, the way decisions are made about shutoffs and for ignoring the, the, the order to replace power lines that are crumbling is made behind closed doors in the, in the private boardrooms of this company. We need to have access to our ability to control our energy. We need a democratic control of our energy system so that we can determine what public health means in the public safety power shutoffs. Don't you think that the public has the right to do that? So Governor Newsom has huge influence over the restructuring of PG&E because PG&E is bankrupt. They're not, they're not just bankrupt by money, they're morally bankrupt, right? All right, so we're going to... We're going to democratize energy with a Tai Chi move. Okay. So, got your forward stance on? We're going to come from the bottom because we're a bottom-up uh, movement. We're going to democratize energy. Okay. Deep inhale. Democratize energy. Democratize energy. Inhale. Democratize energy. Inhale. Democratize energy. All right, and the third goal of our campaign is to restructure the system. We need to restructure the system because we know that energy is not a commodity to be bought or sold, but energy should be a human right. We have folks who need energy to live, electricity to run continuously so they can breathe. Our folks in the disability justice movement make us well aware of that. And thank you for your leadership and thank you for speaking up and making sure we're all aware of that. We need to reimagine an energy system where energy is a human right. That's right. And that it, it's, it sustains life and that it can withstand the climate crisis that's unfolding. That's the kind of energy system that we need as pg and is collapsing. All right, so let's embody. Let's embody. <laughs> so you're gonna inhale and we're gonna uh, build a new system. And so your muscles are going into it and you're setting your energy in the earth. Inhale. Rebuild the system. Inhale. Rebuild the system. Rebuild the system. Under workers' control. Rebuild the system. Rebuild the system. And so let's put all three together to close. All right. So we're going to block the bailouts. We're going to democratize energy, and we're going to rebuild the system. Ready? Okay, we're going to do all three.
hear you say, we're here, we're loud, disabled, and proud. 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 All right. Thank you. So the next kick in the actually flew in all the way to be here with us. And want to thank them for their phenomenal support. Uh, Amanda Jackson with Color of Change. And Color of Change is responsible for the billboards that you'll see uh, going around the block. Let's give it up for Amanda. What do we want? What do I, I didn't hear that. What do we want? When do we want it? Now. What do we want? When do we want it? Now. What do we want? And when do we want it? Now. Awesome. Thank you, guys. My name is Amanda Jackson. I am with Color of Change. Uh, we are the nation's largest online racial justice organization with 1.7 million members. Um, yeah, woo, some of whom are here. So thank you all for showing up. And thank you all if you saw our mailers and things come out. I do want to also follow those that came before me and just uh, acknowledge where we are, that the land that we are on is not ours, uh, as well as acknowledge those lives that are that have been lost and um, adversely impacted by PG&E. So if we could take a few moments to just, just do that and just allow ourselves to reverence in that. Thank you. And in that, I also want to just acknowledge our connection to the land, right? This, this slab, this space that is housing all of us, our physical bodies, because I think that that is important, right? It's important to remember that we are connected to the resources, that we are connected to the land, and that we are, in fact, connected to the earth. But it also further eliminates why PG&E, let's go. <laughs> Talk about disconnecting from the land and just all in all, just not at all being connected to its impact. I don't need to tell you guys the impact PG&E has had. We are here calling out the Wall Street involvement of PG&E. The fact that PG&E is owned by Knight Capital, Abrams Capital, and Redwood Capital. Entities that are not based in California, have no connections in California other than to be here and the siphon profits from you all at the expense of all of our lives. So in that, we're lifting up frontline communities. We're calling out those entities and PGE and Bill Johnson, the CEO, who thought that dis disabled lives were far more profitable, right? Who thought that their profits were worth the expense of disabled lives, were worth the expense of black lives, or worth the expense of brown lives and are worth the expense of undocumented lives. Because those communities are the communities impacted. Those are the communities that who, whose voices aren't being as lifted up or as centered. And as we're talking about PG becoming public, right, we're moving the Wall Street entities, because it will happen, guys. We will get them out of this utility. Like it will, we will in fact democratize PG and E. But as we're talking about what that shift looks like, I just personally want to acknowledge and lift those folks up because those folks are our members. Those are the folks that have sent us endless petitions and sent us endless emails, have called me, called me on my cell phone to talk about how pg &E has impacted them. So just want to stand here and lift them up today. But we are also affirming all of y'all's demands, calling out Governor Newsom, calling out any additional state regulators, calling out federal regulators, and we will keep our foot on PG&E's neck until, yeah. until Knight Capital, Abrams, and Redwood have left PG&E. Guess what? The shit stays lit. Thank you so much. We got another chance to teach everybody. You ready for it? All right, this one goes, the earth, the earth, the earth is on fire. Unplug PG&E, 
They're all crooks and liars. The earth, the earth, the earth is on fire. Unplug PG&E, they're all crooks and liars. The earth, the earth, the earth is on fire. Unplug PG&E, they're all crooks and liars. Carrie from Youth vs. Apocalypse start making the way up here. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to do an interactive activity. Uh, so folks have, some people have received papers, and we actually put it out earlier this week asking people, what are the ways that people need and use power every day? And these are the responses that people submitted. So we're going to shout, we need power, and then we want people with papers one at a time to shout out yours if you feel comfortable, and then we'll repeat it on the mic so everyone can hear. All right, ready? We need power. We need power. For my alternating pressure and mattress, so I don't get pressure sores. For my alternating air mattress, so I don't get pressure sores. For my adjustable bed, for my life threatening, threatening edema in my bed. We need power! To open my garage door so I'm not trapped. Bye, bye. To open my garage door so I'm not trapped. We need power! For my ventilator so I can breathe. For my ventilator so I can breathe. We need power! For air conditioning, so I don't have a flare of MS. We need power. To take care of my patient. We need power. One more time. To charge my wheelchair battery so that I can move. We need power. To charge my communication device. We need power. For internet and phone access for my job. For internet and phone access for my job. We need power. To keep refrigerating my medications. To keep refrigerating my medications. We need power. To run an elevator in my building so I'm not trapped. We need power! For my suction pump to keep moisture out of my lungs. For my suction pump to keep moisture out of my lungs. We need power! To run the lift from the sidewalk to my house so that I can get in and out. To run the lift from the sidewalk to my house so I can get in and out. We need what? Power! We need what? Power! We need what? Power! We need what? So, do we have Carrie from Youth vs. Apocalypse? Okay. Yeah. So, we have a skit here thanks to the folks from Save Mount Diablo. Um, if you can bring your attention over here. Do y'all need the mic? Copeak, yeah! Copeak! Thank you for welcoming Code Pink in today. We're going to do a little theater piece. It's about six minutes in length. And uh, we hope you take some action following it. We have postcards to the governor and the California Public Utilities Commission saying to shut Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant now. OK, so here we go. <laughs> hey, what are you peons doing here? I'm El Diablo, and I work for this wonderful organization. 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm the devil. There's a nuclear power plant about 500 miles away named after me. It's called Diablo Canyon Nuclear Power Plant. And I'm working for pg and &E. I'm a little bit of a silent partner with them, but I'm trying to destroy the state of California. And I'm doing really well, aren't I? So how many people here are uh, pg and &E rate payers? Oh, you are? Well, thank you, because look at all this money I'm getting for doing this work. So, what do you know about Diablo Canyon? I'll tell you a little bit. It sits near 13 earthquake faults. And there's fracking going on down there. Is there a connection between fracking and earthquakes? Yes! So I'd really like I'd like to see that plant have a meltdown. I really would. And you know what? It's going to if that big earthquake hits because pg and &E hasn't inspected the welds in Reactor Core 1 since 2003. In 2012, they got a waiver and so they didn't have to do an inspection. They're supposed to do it every 10 years. They got a waiver from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission who said, oh no, you don't have to, it's too expensive, you don't have to inspect that reactor core. So we have gone, how many years is that from 2003 till today? So I can't wait for that big earthquake to hit. Are those welds going to hold? Or are we going to have a beautiful meltdown? Where's the workers? Come on, workers. I'm here, I'm here to inspect the nuclear power plant. And I, oh, I hear maybe a, ra a radiation leak. You, you kind of look sick. Are you, are you, you think you might be poisoned at this point? Uh-oh, it feels like an earthquake. <laughs> there you go, that's pretty weak. We're having the earthquake! Yeah! Yay! Look at all this wonderful. Angel, you've just been away from your inner self, your inner peace. You can return to the, the place of place of justice and peace. When is the last time you meditated? Let's uh, let's begin to meditate together.
You know what? Energy is energy free and sustainable for the entire planet for all life will you join with me and my sister the wind to give up all the dirty energy of fossil fuels and fracking and nuclear and move on to a sustainable future will you join us may it be so chant all right here we go we are going to chant together Cynthia, PG&E is over. PG&E is over. We are taking over. We are taking over. Power to the people. Power to the people. PG&E is over. PG&E is over. We are taking over. We are taking over. Power to the people. Diablo Canyon shut down. Please come to our table, sign a postcard. We will deliver them to the governor and the California Public Utilities Commission, which is not regulating and to make us safe. They're enabling PG&E to kill us all if we let them. So let's do something about it. Thank you very much. We are Club Pink. Got boom shake coming up. Let's go. for watching and um, I'll have another live stream up in any number of days now so uh, just keep hitting my Facebook page it's Clark Sullivan and thanks for watching